Hey, good morning. How you doing, man? It's been a while since I did a video blog. I wanted to get it to you this morning. Uh, I've really had this, uh, this transgender bathroom thing on my heart this morning. And I'll tell you, my my first response was not the, uh, probably not the most godly response. It probably wasn't the thing that, uh, <laughs> probably wasn't the best thing. I was really excited to make a blog and yell and scream and, and all that stuff. That was just kind of what I was thinking about doing. And then I was at the gym this morning. I was sitting uh, as I was exercising and I was reflecting on it. And there was something that came to my mind and it was this. You've got to remember that Christianity was birthed and flourished under government oppression. The beginning of our roots were just that. When Jesus came on the scene, all the, uh, all the Jewish people at the time were waiting to be delivered from the rule of Rome. They were waiting to be delivered from their current situation. And so when the Messiah came, they were so excited because they thought right then and there they were going to get delivered. And the way that Jesus delivered them wasn't the way in which they had expected, but the truth is he did deliver them from that oppression and Christianity flourished. And so that's my encouragement for you today is that I don't want you to be discouraged about what's going on. I don't want you to be discouraged about, uh, I don't care what a president or a government, what kind of edicts or laws they want to pass. Christ will reign supreme. Christianity will move forward. The church will endure. And I know it in my heart of hearts, man, uh, these are going to be great times for the church. These are going to be great times for believers. And there's two verses that I want to bring to you. And it's uh, uh, one is that says that God works all things together for good. And I don't know how God's going to work this together for good, but I know that he will because his word declares it. And the other verse is one that says to always be prepared for the hope that lives within you. And so I just, I want to encourage you with that today to know inside of you, what is the hope that you have in Christ Jesus? Be willing, able, and ready to share that with anybody at any given moment, because these are the times more than any other time that people need that hope. They need the hope of Jesus Christ, knowing that he is the one that is going to deliver them from all things uh, in this life and the life to come. And so uh, don't be discouraged today. Be encouraged. Uh, sorry I haven't been on here in a while. Uh, I love you. Uh, be sure to like, share, and comment. Have a great Friday. See you at church on Sunday. And if you're not going to Faith and Victory, find a home church and go there. Love you. Have a good day. Bye.